Welcome back guys, thank you very much for joining me today. No messing around as usual, straight into the video we're looking at replacing an auto air vent inside a Worcester 30i. Okay, so before removing the case guys, please make sure that you have your gas safe qualifications and you have carried out your electrical checks. If you don't know what these are or don't have them, please don't do it because you can't carry out the work. Isolate the electrical supply and remove the fuse. Isolate the relevant pipework underneath the boiler and remove the two connections off the pump, which is the three pin connection on the front and the cider connection. We're trying to get at the gray cap at the back. I tend to use just a small set of six inch grips. This works better for me, but it's still quicker than removing the whole boiler on the front of the boiler pump. Connect a hose onto the drain off cocker at the front and turn anti-clockwise. Drain this into a bucket. This will take a few minutes, but let it do its thing. Once you're happy it's finished, Get your grips best you can onto the air vent and twist. You will hear a hiss, that's just the rest of the water coming out. Make sure that you do leave the drain off open. You may need to get a flat screwdriver in there just to prise it out, but be very careful when you do. I've had to do this a handful of times. Once you've removed the old air vent, make sure that you get the washer with it, a little rubber ring washer. That's all always, nine out of 10, still in there. Clean up the housing because debris can build up. Once you put the new stuff in, it, it might potentially leak. Lube the new one up before you put it in, and then press down and twist in the opposite direction. You'll feel it click in. This, this is gonna take a few minutes. It's just very awkward. Make sure that you undo the, the black cap at the top as well for when you're refilling. And then it's just a case of popping things back in in reverse order. So your three pin connection on the pump and the side connection also. When you're happy, make sure that you leave the case off for refilling so that you're happy there's no leaks. Pressurize up, recommission and retest. Sign off the boiler. Thank you very much for watching guys. Please make sure you give me a like, thumbs up and subscribe and let me know if it helped you below.